Anna Nix is a troubled teen who kills her rapist stepdad in self-defense. She lands in a juvenile hellhole where the only law is survival of the fittest. She soon realizes that this is not a place for weaklings or whiners, but for fighters and schemers. She has to deal with sadistic guards, ruthless gangs, and hungry predators who want to own her body and soul. Anna has to struggle to keep her wits and her will in a place where no one gives a damn if she lives or dies. Don't be fooled by the name of this movie, this is not your average prison flick. In the privacy of her room, Anna, a young cellist, immerses herself in her musical passion. Suddenly, her stepfather bursts in and attempts to assault her. Bravely, she manages to push him away, but in the chaos, he stumbles upon a sharp object that slices his throat. Moments later, he takes his final breath. Accused of her stepfather's murder, Anna finds herself standing before the courts. Anna pleads her case to the judge, explaining that she acted in self-defense against her stepfather's forceful advances. However, her mother testifies against her, painting her husband as a good man. The judge, swayed by the testimony, sentences Anna to a juvenile detention center. Upon arrival, Frank, the prison warden, introduces himself to the newcomers. Anna is then escorted to her cell, where she meets Jeannie, a quiet and solitary girl. Despite her reserved nature, Jeannie feels drawn to Anna and secretly touches herself while watching her sleep. As the prisoners were allowed to step outside for some fresh air, Anna found herself face to face with Cody, a tough, streetwise dame who warned her of the trouble she could face if she remained alone in the harsh prison environment. With two groups of girls dominating the scene, one led by the fierce Keela and the other by the tenacious Cody, Anna was torn between joining a group or going solo. Despite Cody's attempts to recruit her with promises of friendship and protection, even going so far as to rally her gang to intimidate Anna, the young woman stood her ground and refused to be swayed. With a determined stride, Anna walked away from the confrontation, intent on carving out her own path in this daunting new world. As if insulted by Anna's rejection, Cody and her gang cornered the poor girl in a room and proceeded to lay into her with fists flying. The brutal attack left Anna battered and bruised, prompting the doctor at the clinic to urge her to seek out Frank the man who could supposedly offer her protection from such violence. But when Anna innocently confided in Frank about her desire to be left alone, he saw an opportunity to strike a deal for his services. Unfortunately for him, Anna had no interest in playing his twisted game, and she returned to her cell feeling disgusted and disheartened by the constant threat of being preyed upon in this merciless place. In a twisted turn of events, Jeannie, a master of sweet talk, used her charm to comfort Anna, showering her with compliments about her stunning beauty. Anna, unable to resist Jenny's advances, found herself entangled in a passionate encounter. However, as they strolled outside the next day, their blissful bubble was abruptly burst by the imposing presence of Keela. Anna's fury ignited, and in a bold move to protect herself, she made a life-altering decision to join Cody's gang. But Cody, the cunning leader, wasn't quick to trust Anna. She demanded proof of her loyalty and strength before she could become a true member. With a mischievous glint in her eyes, she proposed a daring challenge for Anna to face off against none other than Keela herself. The gauntlet was thrown, and Anna, determined to prove her worth, accepted the daunting task without hesitation. In a flurry of anticipation, Anna confronted Keela head-on, her heart pounding in her chest. With a swift and unexpected move, Anna unleashed her hidden fierceness, delivering a pie right to Keela's face. The impact sent shockwaves through the air, leaving everyone stunned by Anna's audacity. It was a moment of defiance and triumph as Anna stood tall, proving to Cody and the gang that she possessed the medal they sought. Little did they know that this audacious pie-throwing act would mark the beginning of Anna's thrilling journey, as she embraced her newfound place among the ranks of the gang. Cody captured the entire fight with her discreet camera. Following this, Frank imposes a punishment on Anna by sending her to isolation, naked, for a duration of 48 hours. He threatens to extend her isolation for a month if she does not give in to his desires. Faced with the situation, Anna has no choice but to submit to Frank's demands and pamper him. Having completed the mission entrusted to Cody, Anna is now integrated into the gang. As a welcoming gesture, Cody offers her a small gift. She herself cannot escape Anna's charm and ultimately succumbs to temptation. As the sun rose on a new day, Anna's mother came to visit her. But instead of comfort and support, all she had was blame and condemnation for her daughter. She refused to believe that her late husband could ever have been capable of such atrocities and continued to shame Anna for his death. But Anna has found a new family, a gang that accepted her and protected her. And when Keela, an old enemy, came to challenge her, Anna was ready. With her gang by her side, she unleashed all the punches and kicks that she had been holding back, leaving Keela battered and defeated. 
Frank, the sleazy businessman who had been using her for his own gain, he has footage of her fight with Keela and threatened to use it against her in court unless she did exactly what he wanted. Anna felt sick to her stomach at the thought of touching Frank again, but she knew she had no choice. She reluctantly agreed to his demands, hoping that she could somehow outsmart him in the end. As the tension in the air thickened, Anna's frustration reached its boiling point, and she lashed out at Jeannie with an angry slap. Little did she know that her violent outburst would have dire consequences, as a guard noticed the cut on Jenny's lip during an inspection. The guard wasted no time in hauling Anna off to Frank, who had used his power to take advantage of her in the past, but this time Anna stood her ground and refused to give in to his advances, accusing him of raping her every day. Filled with rage at being rejected, Frank threatened to throw Anna into an adult prison where she would truly understand what it meant to be forced. Feeling trapped and alone, Anna turned to Cody for solace, seeking comfort in the form of a stimulant. Despite the dangerous situation, Cody couldn't help but express her affection for Anna and warn her about the dangers of addiction. As the two shared a moment of vulnerability, we couldn't help but feel drawn into a twisted world of power dynamics and emotional turmoil. As Anna struggled to grapple with the newfound affection from Cody, she found herself becoming increasingly agitated and restless. Desperate to escape her own emotions, she stumbled upon a group of girls shooting up and decided to join in. Despite Cody's attempts to intervene and help her, Anna was determined to be left alone once again. And so, Cody made the difficult decision to officially kick her out of the gang. All alone and with nowhere to turn, Anna spiraled deeper into addiction, injecting herself with dangerous amounts of drugs on a daily basis. As her health deteriorated, she became increasingly paranoid and unhinged, convinced that Keela was out to get her. In a fit of drug-induced mania, Anna attacked Keela single-handedly, driven by a desperate need for revenge. Despite the odds stacked against her, she emerged victorious. But at what cost? I feel heartbroken as I watched Anna's descent into darkness and self-destruction. Frank, the prison guard, cruelly sends her back to solitary confinement, stripped of all clothing and left to fend for herself. Anna's addiction takes hold and she spirals further into despair upon her release. But Cody, ever the caring friend, tries to intervene and save her from herself. Anna, however, is too far gone and threatens to end it all. Just in the nick of time, the guard intervenes and takes her back to isolation. Days without drugs take their toll, and Anna's grip on reality slips away. In a moment of desperation, she uses a broken piece of her tray to cut her wrists. It's a harrowing scene, one that leaves you on the edge of your seats, wondering if Anna will ever find her way back from the brink. However, the watchful caretaker spots her just in time and swiftly sends her for medical attention. Following her treatment, Anna witnesses a growing number of patients, much like herself, who have lost their grip on reality due to drug abuse. Tragically, one of the patients succumbs to her addiction. This harrowing experience serves as a wake-up call for Anna, who resolves to quit drugs for good. Desperate to reconnect with her mother, she finally reaches out. Her mother, now remorseful for having sent Anna to prison without knowing the whole truth, vows to secure her release as soon as possible. Once Anna has fully recovered, she crosses paths with Frank. She offers herself to him on one condition, that he isolates her from everyone else, allowing her to be alone. Intrigued, Frank agrees, as this aligns with his own interests. He also envisions Anna showcasing her talents in a competition and hands her a violin, urging her to practice. However, when Cody learns of this arrangement, she slashes Anna's face and orders her gang to attack her once more. Feeling betrayed by Frank for not keeping his promise, Anna's trust wavers. Determined to expose the truth, Anna decides to confide in the doctor. However, unbeknownst to her, Frank watches their conversation through a hidden camera and orders an inmate to eliminate the doctor. At the talent show, Anna captivates the audience with her exceptional cello performance. Following the event, Frank reveals to Anna that he has secured a parole hearing for her. In return, he demands that she spend the night with him. Later, when Anna shares the news with Jeannie, she cautions Anna not to get her hopes up, suspecting that Frank may be manipulating her. In a bold move, Anna decides to secretly record her encounter with Frank, intending to use the footage as evidence during her parole hearing to expose him to the board members. She persuades Cody to lend her a camera for the covert operation. Later, when Anna meets with Frank, who is eager for one last intimate moment with her, she successfully captures the incriminating act on film. During the parole hearing, Anna impresses everyone with her articulate responses and appears on the verge of securing her conditional release. In a stunning turn of events, Frank betrays Anna, urging the members of the parole board to reject her plea for freedom. He claims that Anna, a fiery spirit, has been a perpetual troublemaker within the prison walls. But little does he know that Anna has a backup plan tucked away. With a mischievous grin, she unveils a video she had cleverly recorded earlier. 
As the footage plays for all to see, Frank's face turns a ghastly shade of pale. He realizes he has made a grave error, desperately attempting to snatch the incriminating evidence from the clutches of justice. Alas, fate is not on his side, as police officers swiftly apprehend him, his feeble attempts at erasing his misdeeds in vain. The members of the parole board having borne witness to Frank's treachery are deeply moved by Anna's resilience. They gather in a unanimous decision, granting her the freedom she so rightfully deserves. Overwhelmed with a mix of gratitude and bitter sweetness, Anna bids farewell to her loyal companions, Jeannie and Cody, who have stood by her side through thick and thin. Having weathered countless trials and tribulations, Anna finally finds herself standing before an awe-inspiring audience, ready to fulfill her lifelong dream. With her beloved cello in hand, she unleashes a wave of enchanting melodies that resonate through the hearts of all who listen. And that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed this recap of Jailbait, a movie that will make you cringe, cry, and cheer for the underdog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more movie recaps. And if you have any suggestions for movies you want me to recap next, leave them in the comments below. Remember, if you're ever thinking of breaking the law, just remember that orange is not a good look on anyone. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay out of trouble and don't end up in jail.